हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पी डी लाइफ साइंस अकेडमी फॉर द हैप्पी लर्निंग टूडे वी कैन स्टार्ट द रीडिंग ऑफ एन सी आर टी बायोलॉजी टेक्सट बुक फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर नंबर सेवन नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज द इवोल्यूशन इवोल्यूशनरी बायोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द लाइफ फॉर्म्स ऑन द अर्थ वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द इवोल्यूशन टू अंडरस्टैंड द चेंज इन द फ्लोरा एंड द फाउना दैट हैव ऑकर्ड ओहरे मिलियंस ऑफ ईयर ऑन अर्थ we must have an understanding of the context of the origin of life that is the evolution of the earth of stars and indeed of the universe itself what follows is the long, longest of all the construed and the conjectured stories this is the story of evolu- origin of the life and the evolution of life forms or a biodiversity on the planet earth in a context of the evolution of the earth and against the background of the evolution of the universe itself now the 7.1 origin of life when we look at the stars on the clear night sky we are in the way looking the back in time still a distance are measured in the light years what we see today is an the object whose emitted light starts its a journey millions of years back and from the trillions of the kilometers away and reaching our eyes now however when we see the object in our immediate surrounding we see them instantly and hence in a present time therefore we when we see the stars we apparently are the peeping into the past the origin of the life is a considered a unique events in a history of the universe the universe is a vast relatively speaking the earth itself is almost only a speck the universe is a very old almost the 20 billion years old the huge cluster of the the huge cluster of the galaxies comprises the universe the galaxies contain the stars and the clouds of the gas and the dust considering the size of the universe earth is indeed a speck the big bang theory attempt to explain to us the origin of the universe it talks of the singular huge explosion unimaginable in a physical terms the universe expanded and hence the temperature came down hydrogen and the helium forms sometime later the gases condense under the gravitation and forms the galaxies of the present day universe in the solar system of the milky way galaxy the earth was supposed to have been formed about the 4.5 billion years back there was no atmosphere on the early earth water vapors methane carbon dioxide and the ammonia releases from the molten mass covered the surface the uv rays from the sun broke up the water into the hydrogen and the oxygen and the lighter hydrogen escape the hydrogen combines with the ammonia and the methane to forms the water co2 and the other the ozone layer was a form as it cooled the water vapors fell as a rain to fill all the depressions and forms the ocean the life appears the 500 million years after the formation of the earth that is almost 4 billion years back did life came from the outer space some scientists believe that it came from the outside early greek thinkers thought the unit of the life called as a spore where the transformed to different planets including the earth the panspermia is a still a favorite idea for some astronomers for a long time it was also believed that the life came out of the decaying and the rotting matters like straws mud etc This was a theory of the spontaneous generation the Louis Pasteur by careful experimentation demonstration that the life came only from the pre-existing life he showed that in a pre-sterilized flask 
the life did not came from the kill east while in the another flask the open to air new living organisms arose from the kill east spontaneous generation theory was dismissed once and for all however did not this did not answer how the first life form form came on the earth the operan of the russian and the haldane of the england proposed that the first form of the life could have came from the pre-existing non-living organic molecules that is for example the rna protein etc and the formation of the life was a proceed by the chemical evolution that is the formation of the diverse organic molecules from the inorganic constituents the condition on the earth where the high temperature volcanic storms storms reducing atmosphere containing the methane ammonia etc in 1953 the sl miller an american scientist created a similar condition in the laboratory scale he created a electric discharge in closed flask containing the methane hydrogen ammonia and the water vapor sat at 800 degree centigrade he observed the formation of amino acids in similar experiment other observes the formation of the sugar nitrogen bases pigments and the fats analysis of the meteorites contained also reveals the similar components including that similar process are occurring elsewhere in the space with this limited evidences the first part of the conjecture story that is the chemical evolution was a more or less acceptable we have no idea about the how the first self replicating metabolic capsule of the life arises the first non cellular form of the life could have originated the 3 billion year back and they would have been the giant molecules like the rnas proteins polysaccharide etc this capsule reproduces their molecules perhaps the first cellular form of the life did not possibly originated till about the 2000 million years ago this were probably the single cell all life forms were in the water environment only this version of the biogenesis that is the first form of the life arose slowly through the evolutionary forces from the non living molecule is accepted by the majority however once form how the first cellular forms of the life could have evolved into the complex biodiversity of the today is the fa- fascinating the story that will be discussed below the evolution of the life form a theory a conventional religious literature tell us about the theory of the special creation and this theory has three connotations one that all living organism species or the types that we see today were created as such two that the diversity was always the same since creation and will be the same in the future also three that earth is about the 4000 years old all these ideas were the strongly challenged during the 19th century based on the observations made during the sea wax in the sail ship called as a hms beagle's round the world and the charles darwin concluded that existing living forms start shares the similarities to the varying the degrees not only among themselves but also with the life forms that existed millions of years ago many such life forms do not exist anymore there had been the extensions of the different life forms in the years gone by just as new forms of the life arose at a different periods of the history of the earth there has been the gradual evolution of the life forms any population has built in the variations in the characteristics those characteristics which enable the sum to survive better in the natural conditions like the climate food physical factors etc would outbreed the others that are the less endowed to survive under such natural conditions another word used to fitness 
of the individual or the population the fitness according to darwin refers the unlimitedly ultimately and only the reproductive fitness hence those who are the better fit in an environment live more progeny than the other this therefore will survive more and hence are selected by the nature he called it a natural selection and implies it as a mechanism of the evolution let us also remember that alfred wallace and the a naturalist who work in a malay archipelago had also came to similar conclusions around the same time in due course of the time the apparently the new types of the organisms are recognizable all existing life forms the share similarities and the share the common ancestors and however these ancestors were the present at a different periods in the history of the earth like the epoch periods and the eras a geological history of the earth closely correlated with the biological history of the earth a common permiss- permissible conclusion is that the earth is very old not thousands of year as was the thought earlier but billions of years ago the 7.3 is what are the evidences for the evolution evidence that evolution of the life forms has indeed taken place on the earth has came from many quarters fossils are the remains of the hard part of the life forms found in the rocks rock forms the sediments and the cross sections of the earth crust indicates the arrangement of the sediments one over the other during the long history of the earth different age rocks sediment contains the fossil of the different life forms who probably died during the formation of the particular sediments some of them appear similar to the modern organisms they represent extinct organisms for example the dinosaurs a study of the fossil in a different sedimentary layers indicates the geological period in which they exist the study shows that the life forms varied over a time and a certain life forms are restricted to the certain geological time span hence the new forms of the life has arises at a different times in a history of the earth all this is called as a paleon paleontological evidences do you remember how the ages of the fossils are calculated do you recollect the methods of the radioactive dating and the principles behind the procedure the embryological support for the evolution was also proposed by the erst heckel based upon the observation of the certain features during the embryological stage common to all the vertebrates that are absent in the adult for example the embryos of all the vertebrate including the human develops a row of the vestigial gill slits just behind the head but it is the functional begin functional organ only in a fish and not found in any other adult vertebrates however this proposal was the dis this approve on a careful study performed by the carl ernst von baer he noted that the embryos never passed through the adult stages of the other organisms or animals the comparative anatomy and the morphology shows the similarities and the differences among the organism of the today and those that existed years ago such similarities can be inter- interpreted to understand whether the common ancestor were shares or not for example the whales bats cheetahs and the humans all mammals shares the similarities in the pattern of the bones of the forelimbs though these forelimbs perform the different functions in these animals they have the similar anatomical structures all of them have the humerus radius ulna carpals metacarpals phalanx in the in their four limbs and hence in these animals the same structure developed along the different directions due to the adaptations to different needs and this is the divergent evolution and these structures are the homologous 
homology indicates the common ancestor. Other examples are the vertebrate hearts or a brain. In plants also, the thorns and the tendrils of the bougainvillea and the cucurbita represent the homology. The homology is based on the divergent evolution, whereas the analog analogy refers to as a situation exactly opposite. The wings of the butterfly and of the birds look alike. They are not anatomically similar structures, though they perform the similar function. His the analogous structure are a result of the convergent evolution. Different structures evolving from the same function and hence having the similarities. Other examples of analog are the eyes of the octopus and of the mammals or the flippers of the penguin and the dolphins. One can say that it is the similar habitat that has the resulted in a selection of the similar adaptive features in a different groups of organism but towards the same function the sweet potato root modification and the potato is a stem modification is another example for the analogy in the same line of the argument the similarities in the proteins and the gene performing a given functions among the diverse Diverse organism give a clue to common ancestor. These biochemical similarities the point to same shared ancestor as a structural similarities among the diverse organisms. Man has a bred selected plant and the animals for the agriculture, horticulture, sports and the security. The man has a domesticated the many wild animals and the crops. These intensive breeding programs has created breeders that differ from other breeders, for example the dog, but still are of the same group. It is argued that if within the hundreds of years the man could create a new breeder, could not nature have done the same over the millions of years? Another interesting observation supporting the evolution by the nature natural selection come from the England. In collection of the moth made in 1850s, that is before the industrialization said in, it was observed that there were more white winged moth on the trees that dark wing and the melanized moth. However, in the collection carried out from the same areas, but after the industrialization, that is in the 1920, there were the more dark wing moth in the same area, that is the proportion was a reverse. The explanation put forth for these observations was that the predators will spot a moth again, a contrasting background. During the post-industrialization period, the tree trunks becomes the dark due to industrial smoke and the shoot. Under these conditions, the white wing moth did not survive due to the predators, the dark wing and the melanized moth survives. Before industrialization set, in the thick growth of the almost white colored lichen covered the trees, in that background, the white wing moth survives but a dark color moth were picked out by the predators. Do you know that the lichen that can be used as an industrial po uh, pollution indicator? They will not grow in the areas that are polluted. Hence the moth were, that were able to camouflage themselves, that is the hide in the background, survives. The understanding this support by the fact that in the areas where the industrialization did not occur, for example in the rural areas, the count of the melanic moth was low. This shows that this shows that in a mixed population, those that can be better adapt, survive and increase the population size. Remember that is not a variant, is completely whipped out. Similarly, the excess use of the herbicide, pesticide, etc. has only resulted in the selection of the resistant varieties in a much lesser time scale. This is also true for the microbes against which we 
employ the antibiotics or the drug against the eukaryotic organism or the cell hence the resistance organism resistant organisms or a cell are appearing in a time scale of the months or years and not the centuries these are examples of the evolution by the arthropogenic action this is also tell us that evolution is a not a direct process in the sense of the determine determinizing it is the stochastic process based on the chance event in the nature and the chance mutation in the organism the 7.4 is a what is the adaptive radiation during the journey darwin went to the galapagos island there he observed an amazing diversity of the creatures of a particular in- interest the small black bird later called as a darwin's finches amazed him he realized that there were the many varieties of the finches in the same island all the varieties he conjectured evolved on the island itself from the original seed eating features the many other forms with alter the big roses enabling them to become the insectivorous and the vegetarian finches this process of the evolution of the different finches in the given geographical area started from the point and literally the radiating to the other areas of the geography or habitats is called as adaptive radiation darwin finches represent the one of the best example of this phenomenon another example is australian marsupials the number of the marsupials is different from the others the evolved from an ancestor stock but all within the australian island continents when more than the one adaptive radiation appears to have occurred in an isolated geographical areas representing the different habitats the one can call as a convergent evolution the placental mammals in australia also exhibit the adaptive radiation in the evolving into the varieties of such a placental mammals each of which appear to be the similar to the corresponding marsupials for example the placental wolf and the tasmanian wolf are the marsupials the 7.5 is a biological evolution evolution by the natural selection in a true sense would have started when the cellular forms of the life will different with the differences in the metabolic capacities originated on the earth the essence of the darwinian theory about the evolution is a natural selection the rate of the appearance of the new forms is a link to the life cycle or the life span the microbes that divide fast have the ability to multiply and becomes the millions of individuals within the hour the colony of the bacteria say a growing on the given media has a built in the variety of the variation in the terms of the ability to utilize the feed component a change in the medium composition would bring out only that part of the population says b that can survive under the new conditions in due course of the time this variant population outgrows the other and appear as a new species this would happen within the days for the same thing to happen in the fish or a fowl would take the millions of years as a life span of these animals are in the years here we say that the fitness of the b is better than the than that of the a under the new conditions the nature select for the fitness one must remember that the so called fitness is based on the characteristic which are inherited hence there are there must be the genetic basis for the getting the selected and to evolve the another way of the saying the same thing is that some origin some organism is a better adapted to survive in an otherwise hostile environment the adaptive ability is the inherited it has a genetic basis the fitness is the end result of the ability to adapt and get selected by the nature
the branching descent and the natural selection are the two kinds or concepts of the darwinian theory of the evolution even before darwin the french naturalist the lamarck had said that the evolution of the life forms had occurs but driven by the use and the disuse organs he gave the example of the giraffes who in and the attempt to foliage the leaves on the earth trees tall trees had to adapt by the elongation of their neck as they pass on these acquired characters of the elongated neck to succeeding the generations the giraffe slowly over the years came to acquire the long neck nobody believes that this conjecture any more in evolution the process or the result of the process is the evolution is the process or the result of process the world we see the inanimate and the animate is only the success story of the evolution when we describe the story of this world we describe the evolution of as a process on the other hand when we describe the story of the life on the earth we treat the evolution as a consequences of the processes called as a natural selection we are still not very clear whether the regard the evolution and natural selection in result of the unknown processes it is possible that the work of the thomas malthus on the population influenced the darwin the natural selection is based on the certain observations which are factual for example the natural resources are limited the populations are the stable in size except for the seasonal fluctuation members of the population vary in the characteristic the infant no two individuals are alike even though they look superficially similar most of the variations are inherited etc the fact that theoretically the population size will grow exponentially if nobody reproduce maximally this fact can be seen in the growing bacterial population and the fact that population sizes in the reality are limited means that there had been the competition for the resources only some survives and grew at a cost of the others that could not flourish novelty and the brilliance insight of the darwin was this he assert that variations which are heritable and which makes the resources un ut uh, utilization utilize better for the new adaptations to the habitat better will enable only those in the reproduce and leave more progenies hence for the period of the time or the many generation the survivor survivors will leave more progenies and there would be the changes in the population characteristic and hence the new forms appear to arises the 7.6 is the mechanism of the evolution what is the origin of this variations and how does the speciation occurs even though the mendel had talk of the inheritable uh, inheritable factors influencing the phenotype the darwin either ignore these observations or kept silent In a first decade of the 20th century the Hugo de Vries based on his work on the evening primrose brought forth the ideas of the mutation the large differences arises suddenly in the population he believed that it is the mutation which causes the evolution and not the minor variations like the heritable that darwin talks about the mutation are the random and the directional directionless while the darwinian variations are the small and the directional evolution for the darwin was a gradual while the devries believe the mutation causes the speciation and hence like the saltation or a single step large mutation studied in the population genetics later brought out the some clarity the 7.7 is a hardy weinberg's principle 
He gave the population one can find out the frequencies of occurrence of the allele of the genes or the locus. This frequency is supposed to remain fixed and even remain the same through the generations. The hardy weinberg principle states it using the algebraic equation. This principle says that the allelic frequency in the population are stable is a constant from the generation to generation. The gene pool that is the total gene and their alleles in the population remains a constant. This is called as a genetic equilibrium. The sum total of all the allelic frequencies is a 1. The individual frequency for example can be named as a small q and the small p and the small q etc. In a diploid, the P and the Q represent the frequencies of the allele that is the capital A and the allele of the small a. The frequency of the capital A, capital A individual in the population is a simply P square. This is the simply state in the another ways that is the probability that an allele of the capital A will the frequency of the small p appear on both the chromosomes of the diploid individuals is simply the product of the probabilities that is the p square similarly of the small a small a is a q square of the capital a small a is a 2 p q hence the p square plus 2 p q plus q square is equal to 1 this is the binomial expansion of the p plus q bracket square when the frequency measure the differences from the expected values the differences direct differences or a direction indicates the extent of the evolutionary changes disturbance in the genetic equilibrium or a hardy weinberg equilibrium that is the change in the frequency of the allele in the population would then be interrupted by as a resulting in the evolution Five factors are known to affect the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. These are the gene migration or a gene flu, flow, genetic drift, mutation, genetic recombination and the natural selection. When the migration of the selection of the population to another place and the population occurs, the gene frequency change in the original as well as in the new population. The new gene or the allele are added to the new population and these are lost from the odd population. There would be the gene flow if this gene is migration happen multiple times and if same change occurs by the chance it is called as a genetic drift. Sometimes the change in the allele frequency is so different in a new samples of the population that they becomes the different species. The original drift drifted population becomes the founder and the effect are called as a founder effect. Microbial experiments shows that the pre-existing advantage, advantageous mutation when selected will result in the observation of the new phenotype. Over a few generations this would result in the speciation. The natural selection is a process in which the heritable variations enabling the better survival are enabled to reproduce the leaves the greater number of the progeny. A critical analysis makes us believe that the variation due to the mutation or the variation due to the recombination during the gametogenesis or due to the gene flow or a genetic drift result in the change frequency of the gene and allele in the future generation coupled in enhance coupled to enhance the reproductive success. The natural selection make it look like the different populations. The natural selection can lead to stabilization in which the more individual acquires mean character values. The directional changes more individual acquire the value other than the mean character value or a disruptions the more individual acquire the peripheral characters value at both ends of the distribution curve the 7.8 is a brief account of the evolution about the 2000 million years ago the maya and the first cellular form of the life appears on the earth the mechanism of the how non cellular aggregates of the giant macromolecule could all into the cell with a mac with a membranous envelope is not known. 
some of these cells had ability to release the oxygen the reaction could have been similar to the right reaction in the photosynthesis where the water is split into split the help of the solar energy capture and channelized by the appropriate light harvesting pigment slowly the single cell organism becomes the multicellular form life forms by the time of the 500 maya the invertebrate were formed and active the jawless fish probably evolved around the 350 maya the sea weeds sea weeds and the few plant exist existed probably around the 320 maya million years ago we are told that the first organism that invades the land where the plant they were the widespread on a land when the animal invade the land the fish with the stout and the strong fins could move on the earth land and go back to the water this was about the 350 million years ago in 1938 the fish caught in the south africa happened to be colacanthus which was a thought to be extinct these animals called as a low fins evolved into the first amphibians that lie on the both land and the water there are no, no specimens of these left with us however these were ancestor of the modern day modern day frog and the salamander the amphibians evolved into the reptiles and they lay the thick shell egg which do not dry up in the sun unlike those of the amphibians again we only say they are the modern day descendant the turtle tortoise and the cro- crocodiles in the next 200 million years or so the reptiles of the different shapes and the size dominated on the earth the giant ferns like the tadeophytes were the present but they are they all fail to form the coral deposits slowly some of these land reptiles went up, back into the water and evolved into the fish like the reptiles probably the 200 million years ago for example the istiosaurus the land reptiles were of course the dinosaurs the biggest of them that is the tyrannosaurus rex was about the 20 feet in the height and had a huge fearsome dagger like teeth about the 65 million years ago the dinosaur suddenly disappears from the earth we do not know the true reason the some says the climatic changes killed them some says the most of them evolved into the birds the truth may lie in between small size reptiles of that era still exist today <clears throat> the first mammal were the like shrew like shrews their fossils are the s- small sized the mammals were the viviparous and protected their unborn youngs inside the mother's body mammals were more intelligent in the sensing and avoiding the danger at last when the reptiles came down mammals took over this earth and there were the south america mammals resembling the horses the hippopotamus bears rabbit etc due to the continental drift when the south america joins the north america these animals were the overridden by north american faunas due to the same continental drift pouches the mammals of the australian survive the because of the lack of the competitions from the any other mammals lest we forget last we forget the some mammals live wholly in the water and the whales dolphin seals sea cows are some examples the evolution of the horse elephant dog etc are the special stories of the evolution you will learn about these in the higher classes and those 
and the most successful story is the evolution of the man with a language skill and the self consciousness the rough sketch of the evolution of the life forms there the time on the geological scale are indicated in figure the seven point nine is the origin and the evolution of the man about the 15 million years ago the primates called as the dryopithecus and the ramapithecus were existing they were the hairy and the walked like the gorillas and the chimpanzees the ramapithecus was a more man like while the dryopithecus was a more ape like few fossils of the man like bones have been discovered in the ethiopia and the tanzania this reveals the hominid hominid features leading to the belief that about the 3 to 5 million years ago the man like primates walked in the eastern africa they were probably not taller than the 4 feet but walk upright 2 million years ago the australopithecus australopithecians probably lived in the east african grassland the evidence shows that the hunt with stone weeper weapon but essentially ate the food fruit some of the bones among the bones discovered were different this creatures was called as a first human like being the hominid and was called as a homo habilis the brain capacities were between the 650 to the 800 cubic centimeter they probably did not eat the meat the fossil discovered in the java in java in 1891 reveals the next stage that is the homo erectus about the 1.5 million years ago homo erectus has a large brain around the 900 900 cubic centimeter the homo erectus probably ate the meat the neanderthal man with the brain size of the foot 1500 1400 cubic centimeter lived in the near east and the central asia between the 1 lakh to the 40000 years back they used the hide to protect their bodies and buried their dead homo sapiens arose in the africa and moves across the continents and develops into the distinct races during the ice age between the 7000 to the 10000 years ago the modern homo sapiens arose prehistoric caves are developed during the 18000 years ago one such a cave painting by the prehistoric humans can be seen in the bimbetka rocks the shelters in the rajasthan district of the madhya pradesh the agriculture came around the 10000 years back and the human settlement started the rest of the what happened is a part of the human history of the growth and the declines of the civilization now the summary of the evolution the origin of the life on the earth can be understood only against the background of the origin of the universe especially the earth most scientists believe the chemical evolution that is the formation of the biomolecule preceded the appearance of the first cellular form of the life the subsequent events as as what happened to the first form of the life is a conject is a conjecture story based on the darwinian ideas of the organic evolution by the natural selection diversity of the life forms on the earth has been changing over the millions of years it is generally believed that the variation in the population result in the variable fitness other phenomena like the habitat fragmentation and the genetic drift may accentuate these variations leading to the appearance of the new species and hence the evolution homology of the accounted for by the ideas of the branching descendant the study of the comparative ana- anatomy the fossils and the comparative biochemistry provides the evidences for the evolution among the story of the evolution of the individual species the story of the evolution of the modern man is a most interesting and appear to parallel evolution of the human brains and the languages thank you so much